<laughs> Let's go, my name's Dan Geesling. And welcome to Star Citizen 3.1. Well, well, well. All the messages, DMs, comments in our Discord, comments on YouTube. I appreciate your guys' love and support. Say, Dan, when are you going to come back to Star Citizen? A major update just launched 3.1. This is all brand new to me. There's a lot of things that have been instituted. I believe there's four new ships, a bike, character customization, and uh, something called like personal beacon. So I'm interested to check all that stuff out. So let's go ahead and start by customizing our first character. And there is a wide range of faces. This is cool. I mean, this is, that looks like something. That looks, that's Miles Eckhart, isn't it? Let's go ahead and we'll build off of, is there Chris Roberts face? We'll build off of uh go face in let's go face five all right we're gonna try to make this uh i guess as true to form as possible if possible i'd say have a, a little more uh olivish hue so we'll roll that the hairstyle straight caesar fringe up this is cool because this is the first time ever that i've seen because i've i've take a break from star system as you guys know no, this is a nice touch. Now the question is, what what sort of touch are we gonna go with? Are we gonna go accurate? Or are we gonna go? Let's go spiked side part. We're looking kind of basic, but um, I have a, I have a, a brownish hue. Uh, eye color. What do we got here? These aren't. Whoa, that's freaky. Super freaky. I mean, I I know we only have various choices. But it's better, number one better than we had before. Number two, I got Hazel Boys. Um, look how crazy. Look at the detail. You see the the pores and the markings on the skin. Let's go ahead and roll in. We look pretty basic, but we'll go ahead and save our character. Now, let's go ahead and let's, uh, before we jump in, let's check out one of the new ships. Well, welcome back to the verse. I have to say, I went into the hangar. I said, let's just wait a second. Let's 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 see if we can just spawn our new ship. Before we talk about the new ship that we have, I want to say another thing. And this is why I'm glad it took some time away. I'm glad it took some time away because there's just little hidden accoutrements. And one of which, I went to pick a server to join. And I had a friend in another server and said that server was full. But it was full with 50 out of 50 players. Which, if you're new to Star Citizen, may not sound like a big deal. But, that's a lot of players in one server for what we've been experiencing. We'll say, hello, Kindverse. It's good to be back. And it is. You know, sometimes, walk away from something you love, you come back, it's still there and better. It was always meant to be. So, I went on a, a spending freeze. In Star Citizen. Because we put a lot of monies into it. But, thanks to you guys, those people that have backed the game or purchased the game through our referral link in the description over the past 400 plus episodes, you guys have unlocked a Terrapin for us to, uh, to take a look at. I'm excited to check it out. Also, <laughs> what's with this optimization? <laughs> I'm not used to this. Hello. I mean, there's been some serious progress, and I, I don't mean that in a slightful way. Something I can help you with. Make a delivery. Make a pickup. How's it going? Goodbye. Let's do. Uh, can we make a pickup, my dude? What, what you are you? The wrong person. This guy sounds like Gossip from Jon Snow. Let's uh let's not mess with the cargo. Let's just let's get let's get a nice mission. Someone said, "Hey DG, long time no see." Wilkin, it has been a while. This is my maiden voyage. So we spawn the terrapin. Let's go ahead. Four people. Ooh, that's working. Let's uh let's see if there's any missions available. Uh ooh, they changed all this around too. Look, you gotta spend a little time away here. Let's turn off the chat here. So we have some investigation to do. Retrieve a black box. Search for missing crew. Retrieve a black box. Prime versus seeking a contractor. 
to locate a crashed caterpillar and retrieve its black box. You'll need to go to the remains, extract the black box, and deliver it to Alisar. Or we can do a maintenance. Or, uh, looks like it, did it, did it lock up on us here? Did, did uh, did, did it lock up? Alright, so we're going to try this again. I had a little bit of an issue on the crash Ola, but let's just go ahead and see if we can accept another mission here. We got some investigation. Searching for Denver. We needed a contract to locate one Sylvester Denver seen aboard a Caterpillar is destroyed. Anything you do to settle this as quick as possible. Sounds good. Let's go find Denver. Shall we? Any beacons? No beacons. So th this is apparently what you can do to create missions for other people. Which are very cool. So you can, you can essentially create your own missions in the game. Like, hey, uh, come pick me up. I'm, that's pretty amazing. Uh, I hope that it works. View contract ratings. So you have an employer rating. Got it. So we'll probably mess with that in a future episode. But for now, let's go ahead and check out our new ship, which is the Anvil Terrapin. It uh, supposedly has a lot of armor. That's also a new animation. And this also looks very shiny. But we're on a new server here, so let's say, hello, cruel world. So let's go ahead and we'll slide into the Terrapin. Uh, never step foot inside of it. Excited to check it out. There's a little... Let's go. Look at this thing. It's got some serious shine to it. Now, let's get a little... It looks like hefty, hefty. They were not messing around with when they designed this. So let's see if we can find out... How we get in? There we go. Our first panel. We've done it. Actually, Vader's seat. <laughs> Close this. A coward is among us. The only coward I see is you. I am on a maiden voyage. You would be best... To stay in your litter box. All right, let's check. What is this? Support station? I'll take the G49. That's locked. Open that, please. Wish I knew what my flashlight button was. Up, oh, the old T button. We got a turlet here. All right. Jump drive, life support. Entry panel. Maybe we can put some guns in there. I like this. I like the chambers. Looks very cool. All right. Let's go ahead and enter the pilot seat for the first time. It looks... I mean, Terrapin, Turtle. Look at the cockpit, though. That's what it looks like. I don't, it feels like you're in a shell. I'm, I'm sure that's not a coincidence, but... Let's go ahead and see if we can... I would like to, number one, turn our light off, but... Let's see where our power switches are. Look at all these panels. All systems online. I'm going to turn off the chat. Let's take a look at this thing. I like it. I mean, we haven't flown it yet, but let's... Complete. Landing complete. Let's get our flight ready here. Takeoff complete. Landing complete. Open exterior, no thank you. Landing complete. Uh, lady. Takeoff complete. Landing complete. Let's, uh, let's stop Take that. complete. Look at all these complete. buttons. What do you what do you expect me to Take do? Off complete. Landing complete. Take off complete. Just be quiet. Alright, let's try this again. Let's just get our flight ready here. Anvil Aerospace. All systems online. Uh landing or, complete. What? Take off complete. Landing complete. Take off. I just want to be flight ready, please. Thank you. All right. Let's get out of here. I'm telling you what. Someone just buzzed us trying to be Johnny on the spot hero. I'll tell you, a little time away. And you come back. 
and your best friends all grown up. They got new ships. Look at the performance. We got we gotta get some some shots of this. Look at this. I mean, unless it's a misnomer, which I don't think it is. I mean, yeah, we got a little bit of a turret issue, but no one's perfect. And I, you gotta remember, I'm not playing on my... I'm playing on a single computer and recording on the same one. Let's go. It looks like a little bug. Alright. Let's go ahead and see if we can get our mission together here. Alright. So... This is a hefty boy. All right, what do we got out here? Let's let's get ourselves together. We've got a, a derelict site about 70,000 kilometers out. Let's see if we can get our our bearings out here. What's 70,000 away? I mean, let's just let's lock on here. And just get ourselves in a position here so we can get out of Port Alisar first and foremost. Daymar is obstructed. One may disagree with that statement. Alright, so we are no longer obstructed. Let's go ahead and hang on to Quantum here. <laughs> here we go, boys. Oh, it feels good. Look, at this could be our ship, Dan. I'm not, I don't want to abandon our Freelancer that quickly, but it's just nice to be in this, this freshness. All right, so we're trying to get to this derelict site, so we want the exact opposite direction here. Let's see if we can redial in. So we'll go this. We'll go to our star map. There's our derelict site right there. So we got to go to Selen. And we should be able to maybe just get a little speed outside here. What's the top end speed of this thing? Let's, uh, I'm telling you what, there's been some optimization. I know I've said it multiple times, but it's just, it's feeling nice. All right, let's, uh, uh oh. Cutlass Black, identify yourself, please. Also, look at the new targeting system. Who is this? How do we. I'm not trying to have our new ship destroyed here. Targeted Cutlass, let's. Uh... I'm using a keyboard and mouse, so we're not. Uh... Jared Arbuckle. Excuse me? Are you friend or foe? Can we hail them? We can hail them. He does not want to be hailed. Comms, please. Jared? Wait, wait. Maybe we're not the only one here. Someone else is shooting at him. What are, are we in the middle of the intergalactic battle? Let's go. Oh, this is uh, my little brother's watch. You gotta watch the language. All right, I think we should get out of here or totally dial in. This was not expected. We were just going on a, a simple. Look at that targeting. Let's get a little zoom here on him. Power to weapons, please. Lock on fire. Look at this. I mean, he's not attacking us, but... Man, we must have some legit cannons on this thing. Get roasted. I don't, I'm telling you what, whoever designed the... The Terrapin. It's looking very nice. Roast him. 
we do a flyby? Hang in here. Look at that. I want to board it. Should we board it? Let's take out his engines. But there's someone else here. I can't target him, whoever it is. Who is this? There's another cutlass. We have not identified them. Alright, let's let's roast this guy and get out of here. Oh, there's a lot of people showing up here. Finish him. We need to stay on task here. We're supposed to be picking up someone. What if... The, was Jared Arbuckle or the person we were supposed to find? This is a little bit of a, a weird view. Just from the fact that it's like we can't see underneath us. But I guess neither can a turtle. Let's uh, stay on him here. Roast him. I do... Look, oh, that blew up right in our face. I do like, man, the the updated um, enemy targeting. Really good. You can see what's busted. It's just... Tell you what, CIG. Keep hitting your marks like this. <laughs> All right, let's, let's finish this guy off. I, part of me wants to... Get our missile lock on. Oh, he's gone. All right. Oh, we are not alone here. I like to get a little shot here. Of this you guys know I like the cinematics in this game. Give me some fresh. Oh, let's go. I don't know why it keeps moving off of what we're trying to do here. Uh, I don't know what my director cam is anymore. Oh, well, thanks for... Thanks for stopping by here, boys. <laughs> we're moving on to our next destination. Alright. Uh, so put that one in the bank. First kill. Uh, assisted, perhaps, but... Can we go to selling, please, now? Are we still blocked? We are Z-locked. There we go. All right, good. So, still alive. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a little bit tanky. I mean, it's probably a lot tanky, but let's go ahead and let's pick a different locale here so we can make the jump and not be obstructed. We're locked. We should be locked on here. Follow the green line. I like it. Here we go. <laughs> you know what this ship kind of reminds me of? Oops. I guess we didn't. We missed our jump there. So that was uh, an issue back in 3.0. Uh, but probably see if this is set the destination please come on uh b please all right i think what i had to do is i had to go you have to go throttle up when you do that all right, cool. So, anyways, this, this ship kind of reminds me of, I don't know why, but uh, I used to play this space adventure game back in the day called Space Quest. It reminds me of the ship from Space Quest 3 for any, any of you aficionados out there. We didn't make the full jump here. Make the whole jump, please. All right, and sometimes, you know, when I'm trying to get the shot, uh, I try to line up the camera shot. It messes it when we, we jump in and out of cockpit but nonetheless we hit our comrade 
Not interested in bogeys. There's so many of them. Let's uh, just get to our derelict site ASAP. Oh, excuse me, sirs. We're not here for any problems. We're just uh, we're just on our maiden voyage, and, and we're not looking for any problems. Let's go to our derelict site, and we're out of here. No, there's no, there'll be no problems here, sir. We're just uh, passing through. Come on. Now's not the time. All right. <laughs> I didn't want to mess with the Gladius. There was, there's too many. There's a swarm. We're just getting our bearings here. It's been a while. You know, we've been... Been used to that... Landlocked life. Now you give us the final frontier and... Life gets a little bit more interesting. Alright, so Derelict Sight... I thought I saw someone said Mike Myers. Did you see that? Alright, so Derelict Sight's about 460, so it's on the other side of the moon. We should be able to hit a few of these these ohm wreckers. I hope it's not on the dark side of the moon, though, but that should be it. So what we're doing here, there's orbital markers around the planet so that you don't have to coast the whole way there. Because we're going to have to do some coasting between here and, and our derelict position. Derelict site's 420 away. I I just don't believe that's on this side. You know, I don't, I don't... And I don't really know how to tell either. But I guess... I mean... I feel like something on our side... I guess that's 412 away. So we should be... This should be it. So we're going to go... Full speed ahead. Let's see what our max speed is. And then I'm going to decouple it. And then kind of ghost ride in. Until we get to a manageable distance. And then from there. <laughs> we'll see what happens. This thing though surprisingly. Looks like the top end speed. Is it going to be four digits? It is? It's like as fast as. Well I guess in previous. In 3.0 it's as fast as. It's really fast actually. Alright, so we're going to coast in here. So we're going 1,200 kilometers a second. So we're going to be a little bit of a distance away there. So my question is, can we get up and walk around? <laughs> I'm sure we can. How much time do we really have? Let's find out here. Uh, um, I freaked out for a second because I saw the, the ship, the chair spin. And it, it did. It did what I thought it did. So I thought our chair just spun, right? And not the entire nose of the ship. So because of that, we are now not where we needed to go. I mean, so we probably have to decouple here. I don't know, man. We may be close, close to the surface than I thought. I think we are. I mean, I think there's no way this is 322 kilometers away. We're coming in hot. But, I mean, that's what my intuition says. Yeah, we're in the wrong spot. Let me, uh... Look at this. We're, we're very close. Let me do this. I'm gonna. We're gonna go to the other side of the moon, and then we'll be. I'll, I'll bring us in.
quantum drive is now up. Not like this. Not like this. No. No. Cut the power. Okay. So we're on the surface. Let's just get a little. <laughs> yeah, I guess it wouldn't be a, a first episode without us crashing, if you will. Where is this? 
Hey, we did it. Hey, good thing this thing's made out of titanium. Let's go ahead. We'll begin the journey once more. And give the heat. Alright, so we're gonna find this thing. I'm telling you, when we come back, we're gonna be right there. Alright, even though we're not where we need to be at, I, this was too good of a acquiescent view to give you guys to not show it off. But alright, let's let's go find this place. Alright, sometimes to find what you're looking for, you need to go to places that you're very familiar with. We're just going to do a nice little fly by at Korea. Let's just see if anyone's here. There's a saber here, Virtus. We'll say, uh... Oh! Oh, we had the chat window open and we ghost... We ghost right it through the DMs. I can't believe that happened normally. That doesn't work out in her favor. We'll say, warning to all, Korea will be back under WHP protection in due time. Enjoy romper room while it lasts. All right, can we get to this derelict site, please? All right, we're going to come back. All right, so I've come to the conclusion that this mission is bugged because I literally went around the entire moon and there, I think it was like the, the derelict is like at the core of uh, the moon. So what we're doing here is we, we got another mission at the same moon at Selen. We got to pick up something from this locale, which are about 100 kilometers away. It should be nice and easy. No, I mean, I say that. With the utmost respect for the game because on the look at those contrails let's go on the way here there was a little bit of pirate activity you just had to outrun them here you know with the uh our engines don't look like they're on i know we have the ones on the side i guess there are none in the back it just looks like there's a spot for like afterburners or, or additional right out of those three back crevasses but for now let's go uh, we're about 70 kilometers away from this pickup site i think you know because we're on the the light side of the moon here i think it should be nice and easy <laughs> i mean it i mean what what could actually go wrong as we're sliding in here i think it's going to be a beaut we need, probably need to pull up here a little bit we're going Right for it. Also, look at the undercrustings. All right. Pickup site about 40 or so away. I don't even think we need to slow down yet. I feel like we have, we have a a nice control over the ship. Looks like it's, it's just tucked away in there. What is it? Just a box? What? Uh, we're supposed to pick up some un unmarketable securities. What the heck that means is. Is beyond me. I'll probably cut our engines at about. Mm, <laughs> I'd say probably right about now. So we'll just coast in here. Use engines cut. We're gonna overpass this thing not by much, but. I uh, probably need to pull up. Okay, we got our pickup site. Let's just. Oh! <laughs> All right. Sometimes the bumps and bruises in life are what make a pilot a pilot. All right. Let's go ahead. Get our landing gear down here. So we're about we're very close. So we're approaching here. Nothing, nothing drastic could go wrong, right? We're just, we're just going to slide in. Let's actually put our nose to the grindstone here. Do we see it directly in front of us? 
certainly do not. I see a bunch of moles and hills. Ah, it's starting to come into the distance. The draw distance is is done in a, uh, apparently a proper fashion. So let's we're gonna try and get this thing as close as possible here. The goods. <laughs> what is that? A tank? Nah, it's, it's a little facility just hidden out there. Alright, let's go ahead and set her down Landing here. Complete. Take off complete. Landing complete. Take off complete. Let's see how we do here. Uh, let's get a full. Nice. Nice. <gasps> let's. Let's use the old secret. Landing complete. Take off complete. Landing complete. The old secret. What's the old secret? Landing complete. Take off complete. Landing complete. Take off complete. Landing. Turn the power off. We land like a champ. Nicely done. Let's go ahead and get our first package of 3.1 and It's much I like that really really like the ship. We have 15 minutes of oxygen, probably because we were horsing around for so long, but that's alright. Let's, uh... Let's see what they got for us here. No ulti look here, huh? Alright, we're approaching... Said hidden station. Away from all the the watchful eye of the law. If we could pick up any of this stuff. Maybe just you hear those shots? We do have a pisty on us. Ooh, the nice nice green screen. We may have to try out some arena commander here. I mean, not arena commander. Uh, Star Marine. Get a little FPS in. All right, here we are. What is all that racket? Power cell accepted and active. Hmm, a nice IPA. Let's go ahead and consumer goods. Pick it up, please. I'm interested in you selecting that. Come on. It's been, you've been so nice to us. You might. Perhaps doing something wrong. No. We've come so far for you. Do I drag it? Just click it once, see what happens. It slides me off that way. What? Let's get as close as we possibly can. No. Wait. Okay. You said be a little patient there. All right. So I kept cutting off the animation. That's that's my fault. But uh, I mean, a little bit of a buggy. But on the good side, performance is good, and we got the box right. And end of the day, that's all that matters, right? Who cares? That it's Clipping us. I thought someone took our Terrapin. Alright, so let's work our way back to the old Terry. As we, uh... <laughs> egregiously swing this through our... Eddie Bauer suit body. Look at those salty springs. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you what. This game definitely... Has no non flair for the cinematics. Look at it. We got our Terrapin just landed here. We got Salty Springs. To... No. No. We can't go out like that. Well, we had a crash. That's unfortunate. We were, we we're going to deliver the cargo nonetheless. 
back to Star Citizen 3.1. We'll probably be dinking around with it this week, see how it goes. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you guys enjoy the video. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoy the channel, I encourage you guys to check it out. We play games like Star Citizen, Escape from Tarkov, and other in that, that similar simulaic genre. Anyway, it's been my pleasure. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.